Hi guys and welcome to a new doll box opening and review video. Today I'm going to be opening Irumi because of course as you already know I went to pick her up at the Azon store uh, yesterday. So the big idea was to be able to open my other little maid fairy uh, before. So I have Lipu and Erino and Veil, who are from the first series, and I wanted to open them. That's why I started with Lipu Sheep before because I wanted to uh, open them before getting her and getting Armia. And I was thinking that I would like open them in order so Lipu, Erinoe, Veil, Armia, and her. But because Armia is not here and I haven't gone around to open those already. And because she's brand new and I got her yesterday and if you want her you can actually get her so I was thinking it's more appropriate to open her now so that you can see what you get basically before getting it if you are interested in getting her but haven't gotten her yet so that's why today I'm going to be opening her and I will go into the little fairy the other three little fairy a little bit later anyway guys time to open the box so see you in a bit so here is Irumi in her box and I got the surprise uh, just moments ago when I took the box again so you can see her on the box but here you can see the back of the box because they actually gave you a postcard with her so I don't know if I got the postcard only because I got her at the Azon store or if she comes with a postcard every time that's to be investigated, but still I have this beautiful postcard with Irumi on it, so I'm very happy about that. And then the other side of the box, you have her again. And the front, okay. So let me open her. So, uh, actually it's not a postcard, it's two or three postcards. Let's open the postcard first. Um, here. Here we go. So, multiple pictures. That's sweet. So, it's two postcards. So, we have Irimi with our broom. In front of all those books, I guess they use the same background they used for the second series. Even so, they are using the first series doll. And then you have the other one where she is with ah, our other accessory. So here we go. It's pretty cute. Then. So there is a doll here and as usual she comes with the background which is just a plain background background and it's any set Puri Miyuri Fairy Association and she got a little helper card so I think every single doll of the first series come with that, but the first series was, I think they got it out twice. So probably the first series of the first series actually got a card. I don't know about the second. I know that the second series didn't have a card. So I'm not sure if, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the card or the other because they are second hand. But anyway, this one has our card, so that's pretty cute. And it's a little fairy at the back. And you got her name. And then, of course, there is a book as usual. So you see your little fairy. And so you have the doll, doll description here with what color of eyes and stuff. And then you have uh, all the pieces she comes with, so hair piece, apron, dress with separated sleeves, underskirt, the cord, uh, she probably has some cleaning device, 
This is panties and socks and she comes with a rope pair of hands, shoes and another cleaning device. Then you have the Little Fairy original novel story. So, uh, I like last time they had the story too, and then they came out with the original story book. So maybe later they're going to come out with an original story book for the three Little Fairy too, which would be really cool. So it seems that she's crying. I don't know. I haven't read it because I just opened the box. So it seems that she's crying and not very happy. But of course, Big Sister is here. Anyway, it's really cute. And that's it for the book. So now let's have a look at the doll. So first I'm going to take out all of the pieces at the back. So we have the extra hands. And she has interesting hands that I don't have for my little fairies. I don't know if the hands are same size or compatible, but she has different positions for her hands. So we have the closed fist, which is pretty standard. We have sort of grip, but open hand and the, it's the thumb is more straight than for the other one. This is the original Lil Fairy's hand with a grip, so you can see the finger are all turned, bent. But this one, the finger are pretty straight. And yeah, it seems that the hands are compatible. So I'm going to try later. I'm going to have a body comparison and I'm going to try that later. And then she also has... So those other hand with a grip. So probably that would have been better to compare here. And also, yeah, it seems like those hands are a bit... They're different hands, basically. Uh, they're not as rounded, but the, the thumb is a bit longer. So I don't know, they're basically different. And then she also has this open hand with open fingers. And that's brand new, like I've never seen those type of hand before. The little fairy never come with those type of hands. So that's new stuff, that's pretty cool. Then she comes with this and I'm very sorry but I don't know how that's called in English so you just look at it and know what it is in French we call it PELLE P-E-L-L-E -L -L -E, if you want to look it up and see what it is in English so it's pretty nice it has like lots of cute little design on it so she can use that to get the dirt out of the ground then she has this but she would need a broom actually to use with this but Erino got a broom I guess or Lito has a broom anyway I got brooms so no problem and then she has this little cleaning thing to keep the table clean or the windows my other lip was using that on the window because my dollhouse is full of glass so she can just clean all of it. Then the headpiece and the shoes. Oh, everything is coming out all at once. So let's open the headpiece first. Anyway. So this is a headpiece. So you just put it on her head, it's made of a plastic I guess and it's covered with fabric and it has like less and little ribbon on the side with little bows. It's pretty cute. And of course the little shoes. So she has brown shoes with this uh, cross at the front and there is no way to actually open the shoes so I just hope her feet are gonna slide easily inside otherwise it might be a problem. So here, little heel and brown shoes. 
And then, of course, we have the doll here. So, let me... She's so cute. So, here we go. Let me remove the plastic around her hair. Freeling fairy, yeah! So, as you can see, uh, I'm going to zoom on her so that you can see her better. Uh, I didn't realize our eyes are kind of not what I expected. And so I saw her in her box and I didn't expect that. There is something special about her eyes that I'm going to talk about like just now. So here is Irumi. As you can see, I put on the hair piece. So you have like it's white, made of fabric, little beige bow on the side, on each side, and then the part here going up is really cute. And then she has this nice blonde hair. It's very light blonde color. I kind of like, I think it looks a bit darker on the videos and it actually is. And then her eyes. So her eyes are very particular. Let me see if I can zoom a little bit more on her eyes. So I don't know if you can see properly, but technically her eyes are made, like the blue of her eyes, are made of three different colors. So you have the darker color at the top. And I saw it was just like shadow or something, but if you look carefully, you can see the white part finished at the top with a small gray part. So it's, and it's like a straight line. So it seems that they try to have a sort of half-closed eyelid. A little bit maybe like they did with the Kiki Pop before. So it's kind of like the darker part of her eye is a bit like a closed lid or something. Which is a little bit weird because she still has some eyelashes at the top. So I don't really know, but it's it, it's a very interesting eye color anyway, whether it's half closed or just like a different type of eye, of closed eye or just a interesting three shade color. So I think she has very beautiful eyes. And then she has just a small little smile like Erinu has because her sister, I guess. Then if you look at her Outfit so the sleeves are not attached to the dress as you saw before on the book, and it's like that pale green, which is really interesting color. Like all the little fairies this time have kind of light color compared to the previous series, and then she has this. Uh, it's almost the same outfit as the previous one. It's just like different color and different size. And she has a less here and the ribbon in beige. And same on the other side. And she has small sleeves and the dress underneath here. Which finish with less at the bottom. And then she has an apron on the top. And it's at the back. It's closed with like crossed at the back and the big bow here. Her hands are also different than the previous little fairy. She has longer fingers. So let me see. I have a lipo here. So we can compare. So she has slightly longer finger. Unlike the little fairy fingers before are kind of rounded and she has something, I don't know. Maybe a little bit more realistic on this one and a little bit more cartoonish on the previous version. So it's interesting. And then she also comes with white socks. And of course the shoes that I showed you earlier with a cross at the front. It was like normal to make, like not so hard. Her feet slid in it pretty easily. So I removed the apron so you can see the dress in full and you can see like it has less and little bits at the front like little buttons and it has a white color and a little bow here at the top. So basically that's a normal made dress. 
But the thing is, with that type of dress, when she goes out without the apron, she's, it's kind of like a sort of casual outfit, so it's pretty nice. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this little one. Are you planning on getting her? Do you think she's too small because she's a bit smaller than the normal little fairy? Are you interested in knowing more about that uh, new body and a comparison with a uh, normal like previous little fairies? And uh, if you like the video, give me a thumb up. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time for something else. Have fun whatever you do. Bye!